All right, this is part two of our lesson on solving special right triangle combos. All right, that's two special triangles stuck together, and you have to basically solve two problems in a row to get to your final answer. We're on problem number five. Okay, the pattern for a 45, 45, 90 triangle um, goes like this, x, x, x radical two, All right? These x's are the legs, and the hypotenuse is like leg radical two. Uh-oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna use x, because I already have this x down here is something else, so um, I'm gonna use n. So this would be like n, n, and this should be n radical two. Well, comparing these two to each other, obviously n is five. So this must be, um, if the hypotenuse here is five radical two, then these legs must be five, okay? Because it must be like five, five, five radical two. So great, so now we can uh, just sort of cover this up for a second. Cover up this mess up here, all right? So just focus on this part down here. So this x is in the right position for me to still use x. So this must be like x, x, and then the hypotenuse here would be x radical 2, right? x, x, x radical 2. Now when you have a number, a, a, a normal number for the hypotenuse, then you need to solve this little equation. So off to the side, we'll just recopy. So I've got 5, whoops. What I mean to say is I've got 5 equals x radical 2. If I want to find x, then what I do is I divide both sides by radical 2. Okay? So that's going to tell me what x is. Now, um, 5 over radical 2 is just 5 radical 2 over 2. So that means x is 5 radical 2 over 2. And that's what we were supposed to find, is this x right here. So, And that's what it is. That's the answer to number 5. Let's find number 6. Oh, this is strange, all right? It's got 9 radical 6. It's not even a radical 2. All right, well, let's use our pattern. I'm not going to use x because x is already over there. So I'm going to use n. Um, in fact, let's cover up. Let's cover this up for a second so it doesn't distract us from our mission. Okay, just cover that up for a second. So the pattern for a 45, 45, 90 triangle is like this. N, N, and then the hypotenuse should be N radical 2. Okay, now this is the only number that we have to work with. So look at this little equation we've got. N radical 2 must equal 9 radical 6. So we can solve this and figure out what N is. Um, the way we find N is we will divide both sides by radical 2. Okay, and that's going to give me N. Okay, so um, let me just slide over a little bit. So that's going to give me n equals. Now I know, you know, since 6 divided by 2 is 3, radical 6 divided by radical 2 is radical 3. So this is, is just going to be 9 radical 3. Okay, so that's n. But see, uh, these are n over here, these legs. So that's what we just found just now. So that means I will have 9 radical, wait, I said 3. Why did I put a 2? Why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't you warn me? Oh, you did? Maybe I heard you. So this is 9 radical 3, and this is 9 radical 3. Okay? So maybe we can use that to find the other thing that we really need. So let me, whoa, hold on, craziness. So I took away the little cover here for a second. Now I'm going to cover up the, this part, all this mess. Okay, so we can focus on this. 
So we just found this hypotenuse here. Okay, let me just wipe this up a little bit. No. Okay, we just found that the hypotenuse here is 9 radical 3. Okay, this x is in the right position, so I can just stick with x. All right, because the way the pattern goes is we say x, x, and then the hypotenuse should be x radical 2, right? That's the way the pattern works. Um, but we have this 9 radical 3 here that we just found. So we'll make the equation x radical 2 equals 9 radical 3. All right, I feel like I should solve this off to the side. Okay, let's do it over here. x radical 2 equals 9 radical 3. All right, if I solve this, I'll have the actual x that I'm looking for. So, um, what you do is you divide by radical 2 on both sides. Okay. And see what you get. Now, I'm just going to put this in my calculator. But I think it's going, going to be uh, 9 radical 6 over 2. Um, but let's use our calculator. All right, 9 radical 3 over radical 2. Okay, so we'll have 9 radical 3 over radical 2. Okay, oh, look at that, 9 radical 6 over 2. Okay, and that is the answer to the question. And this was, that was problem number six that we just did. Okay, let's get after problem number seven. Okay, problem number seven. Ah, now we're branching out. Now we've got, see that 60 degrees? That means this must be 30 degrees. And that's 60 degrees, so this must be 30 degrees right there. So again, let's take a quick peek at the pattern for our uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle right here. It's all about the short leg, which is always across from the 30. All right, if we call that short leg x, then the hypotenuse will be 2 times x. It'll be double. So if the short leg is 5, the hypotenuse will be 10. If the short leg is 7, the hypotenuse will be 14. You get it. And then you can also get the long leg, which is crossed from the 60. You can get the long leg from the short leg. See how everything comes from the short leg. If you take the short leg, stick a radical 3 on it, then you got the long leg. Okay? So if, this, if the short leg is 7, the long leg is 7 radical 3. All right. You get it. It's all about the short leg. Is, it, is uh, The short leg is x. Okay. So back to this. So we've got the 9 here, and the 9 is the hypotenuse, all right? So the hypotenuse has got to be double the short leg, all right? Um, so that means the short leg, which is over here, got to be half of this, all right? Um, 9 divided by 2, I don't want a decimal, okay? So 9, half of 9, is just 9 over 2. That must be the short leg. Okay. Um, so that means the long leg right here must be 9 over 2 radical 3. Because the long leg is just the short leg with a radical 3 stuck onto it. Okay. So once you have that in position, um, now we need to uh, focus on the bottom triangle. So I'm going to cover up the top triangle for a second. Okay, so we just found this 9 over 2 radical 3. But this is the hypotenuse of this uh, lower triangle. All right, not the long leg, even though it has a radical 3 on it. So we're going to have to just use the pattern. So the pattern is this. Um, they have this x here uh, for the short leg. And that's good because um, that's the one that we like to call x anyway. So um, the way it works is uh, 
it goes x and then the hypotenuse here it would be double x you know 2x and then the long leg here would be x radical 3 alright but the bottom line is um, if I solve this equation that I just created I'll find x and that's what this is alright that's what I'm supposed to find so let's just solve this little equation I'm gonna do it off to the side so if I recopy this over here, I've got 9 over 2 radical 3 equals 2x. All right, I need to take half of I need to divide this by, by 2. Um, now, I know this is going to be 9 over 4 radical 3, okay? Um, but the way you would probably do it would be to divide both sides by 2, like this, okay? So um, you could type this whole thing in your calculator if you wanted to. If you look at this as one big fraction, all right, with um, this 2 down here is my denominator, and this purple expression up here is my numerator, okay, 9 over 2 radical 3. I could type all this in my calculator. So let's see how I could do that. Of course, I'd have to start out in fraction mode. And then I need 9 over 2 right here, so I could, I'd have to make another fraction. So this would be 9 over 2. And then off to the side, I could do my radical 3. And then in the bottom, I'm supposed to have uh, 2 down here. So I'm taking 9 over 2 radical 3, and I'm dividing that by 2. OK, so that is giving me. Uh, 9 radical 3 over 4. All right, another way I could have done it, I could have done 9 over 2 radical 3, and then I could have just done divided by 2 like that. Either way, I get 9 radical 3 over 4. Okay, so that's 9 radical 3 over 4. So that is the answer to the question, all right? That's the x that we were looking for. All right, that was number seven. Let's go find number eight. Okay, here's number eight. All right, 30, 60, 90 triangles all over the place. All right, uh, but we have this five right here, so let's concentrate on this one down here. In fact, I'm gonna cover up this for now. When you get good at it, you can just mentally ignore it. But to help you guys out, I'm going to cover this up for right now. OK. So um, it's all about the short leg when you are dealing with the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is 60, so this must be the 30 over here. So that, that means this must be the short leg. I'm not going to use x, because I already have an x in the, in the problem for something else. Uh, so I'm going to use n right now for the short leg. All right, so if this is n, then the hypot then I'm sorry if this is n then the hypotenuse here um, would be 2n okay and then uh, the long leg of course would be n radical 3 but this is the part that I really need right um, in other words the short leg should be half of this so I know that's going to be um, 5 over 2. 5 divided by 2 is just 5 over 2. No decimals, please. I don't want uh, 2.5. Um, but if you make this little equation, if it helps you, you can think of it as dividing. Okay, and that's how I'm getting that uh, n is 5 over 2 right here. Okay, so just remember that. So this leg over here is 5 over 2. Okay, so that's all, all that really matters, so I'm going to erase all this other stuff. So this is 5 over 2 right here. Now I'm going to uncover this. Okay, maybe I'll even slide it over here and use it to cover up the other part. Okay, it's kind of a neat trick, don't you think? So. Um, 5 over 2. That was this part right here is what we just found. Okay, so let me back and just drag it 
over here. So this is the uh, five. Whoa, what happened? All right, so we just found that this was five over two. Okay, that's what we just found. But we need to find this x. Now, um, what is going on here, my friend? This is 60, so this must be the 30. This is the right angle right here. So this x is the hypotenuse. So I'm really unhappy that they're calling this x because the short leg is what we normally call x. But that's OK. We'll use n instead. So this is n okay, up there. Maybe I'll use even another letter since I use n elsewhere. Um, how about p? OK, I'll call it. If the short leg is p, then the hypotenuse here would be 2p. OK. Now this is the long leg. So um, the long leg would be p radical 3. p radical 3. And this is the key right here. Because I have a number here, I can make an equation. OK. p radical 3 equals 5 over 2. OK, so I can solve this for p by dividing both sides by radical 3. OK, divide by radical 3, divide by radical 3. All right, that will give me p. So let's find out what it is, p equals. Um, so again, so I need 5 over 2. So that's like my numerator. Uh, my numerator is 5 over 2. Okay, radical 3 is my denominator. So um, I could put that in my calculator. Uh, just go straight into fraction mode. Now, my denominator is radical 3. I'm going to just do that first to make a point. Okay, so that's this part. Now, my numerator is a fraction. So up in the numerator, I can hit the fraction button again and type in 5 over Okay, so I get 5 radical 3 over 6. Now, instead of making a big fraction, I also could have done 5 halves divided by radical 3. Okay, like this. I could have done 5 halves and then divided by radical 3. All right, either way, I get 5 radical 3 over 6. Okay, so that's p is 5 radical 3 over 6. Okay, so fine, that's p, but um, x here is 2p. Okay, so x is going to be 2 times this. Um, well, 2 times 5 radical 3 over 6, I know is going to be... Um, let me just change colors real quick. I know that that's going to be 10 radical 3 over 6, because I'm just multiplying 2 times 5. All right, so that's what x is going to be. So that's the answer to number 8. Okay, now looking back at the calculator, we had this 5 radical 3 over 6. If you want, you can just hit times 2 right now. If I hit times, it's taking the previous answer and I um, can multiply it by 2. Oh, that's funny. Um, I need to reduce, don't I? So see how they have 5 radical 3 over 3? I almost missed it. I'm glad I used the calculator because 10 over 6 is reducible, isn't it? They're both even. Um, so I, I, in fact, would not leave it as this like I started to. OK, um, let me change colors yet again. So this reduces down. Dividing both of these by 2, I actually get x equals 5 radical 3 over 3. And that is the final answer for number 8. OK, let's stop this video right here. See you on the next video.